everybody! So glad to have you with me today. We're going to be talking about the Snow White collection from Besame, and um, I'm so excited about this. I got a lot of the things in the collection. I can't even remember exactly when I ordered it, but it seemed like a really long time ago, and I just got it last week. So I thought we would just kind of play around with it today. Um, I have already been experimenting with the stuff, but I thought it'd be fun to do some of that on camera for you as well. And I am only wearing right now some foundation, some concealer, and my brows. We have so much fun stuff here, you guys. I'm gonna start out with the Snow White's Pies Lip Balm Collection, and this is inspired by the original 1937 Snow White movie from Disney, and I'm very familiar with that movie because, you know, Belle likes to watch that kind of stuff now and then. We both really enjoyed some of these older classic movies, and the packaging, the outer boxes, and then also the containers that this stuff comes in is so, so beautiful. I thought it looked nice online, but getting it home, I'm just like blown away by how pretty this stuff is. So in the Lip Balm Trio, you get three different ones, and Snow White has a little different expression on each. One is gooseberry pie, one is apple pie, and one is cherry pie. So let's check these out. My lips are feeling kind of dry right now, so I could use a little balm. See how precious? I just love that. It says a delicious gooseberry pie for grumpy. It's around the rim here where it says what kind. So the gooseberry is this really pinky shade. I haven't even put this one on yet. I'm getting a little color on my lips here from this one. They feel a lot like the texture of like a, a rosebud salve if you've tried that. Really pretty thin on the lips, not the most deeply penetrating like super hardcore lip balm that I've ever tried. And I apologize, I am a little under the weather today, but so the scents might not be totally coming through for me but I can still smell just like a light sweetness with this one. So that's the gooseberry pie. Remember, that was the kind of pie Snow White was making when the evil queen came up to the window. But that's pretty much as far as my knowledge on gooseberries goes. This one's beautiful. You've got the little profile of Snow White there, and it says a delicious apple pie for happy. And this one just seems to be a light pink. And going on the lips, it's really just clear, is what I'm noticing. This is the kind of thing, if you're thinking about getting this, you're not really getting it for the fact that these are life-changing lip balms. You're getting it because you're, like, Snow White obsessed and you want to get the collection, you know? And this was the one I was playing with before. This is a delicious cherry pie for Bashful. So just so pretty. I just love how the whole vibe is so consistent with the way Besame just normally does stuff. I just love how the era in in which the movie was made completely falls in line with the type of product Besame makes. And this is the one I've played around with a little bit. It's got a nice red tint. And I'll let this one just sort of hang around on my lips while I'm playing with some of the other products. But yeah, the cherry is definitely my favorite. I like a soft red tinted lip like that. So I guess my thought on the lip balms is, again, it's completely adorable where the packaging is concerned. It's not life-changing lip balm, but if you've got a real Snow White fan, in your life and you were thinking about gifting this to them, this is one of those no-brainer things. Like, everybody knows what to do with lip balm, you know what I'm saying? There might be other products in the collection where they're like, okay, this is pretty, now what? But the lip balm is definitely, I think, universally usable. And you can bet Belle had a fun time looking through this stuff with me. This next thing, absolutely love it. Want this to be something I can continually get from Besame. It's the Ever After Translucent Pearl Powder. So it's in a beautiful little box like that. But you slide it out. This is going to be so hard to show with how metallic this is, but can you see how gorgeous the compact is when it hits the light there? It's gold. It's gold everywhere, but then it just has red and blue details on it, and it's not like a metal compact. It is plastic. You open it up, and on the mirror there's a little bunny and a bird and a little puff here as well. It's just it's beautiful. And then the texture of the powder is so super soft. It's like a soft matte look. Like they call it translucent pearl powder and the only way to really get a feel for it is if you kind of shear it out on your hand and then move your hand around. It's just a very soft like natural matte. Like actually think of the way the finish of a pearl looks, you know? It's not blindingly catching the light. There's just a softness to that look. And so this is the kind of powder I feel like I can wear anywhere. I use this little um, small tapered brush from e.l.f. and I love popping this around here on the under eye. I mean, again, just the quality of the product is great. It's soft, 
it's beautiful on the skin. I like putting it over areas where I think I've got maybe a few lines or something because I just feel like it softens the look of any imperfections. It does kind of mattify, but just not in a super unnatural way. Like it's just kind of that dull skin, I guess you might say, that Snow White seems to have. But as always, when we're talking about translucent powders, I mean, there is some color that you do pull off of this inevitably. And as it smooths into your skin and blends in, yeah, some of that kind of blends away. It would have been cool actually if they put out a deeper version along with this that the tan and rich skin tones could really feel like, okay, that's my color. The next thing is the cream rouge. This is the with a smile and a song cream rouge. So you're just getting one shade in this. It's in a gorgeous little pot. I think that's about the size. Yeah, it seems to be the same size as those lip balms, but it's that gorgeous gold instead on Snow White's skin, the red, the blue details. It's the kind of thing you get at home and you get it in your hands. You're just like, oh, like so sweet. And the color on this, I would kind of describe it as a bright coral. Um, it is fairly easy to blend and I think you could do it with your fingers, but a standard cream product like this, I think applies really well with the e.l.f. small stipple brush. And by the way, they've created almost, what would you call this, like a little gasket around here. So when your top comes down, this isn't going to be drying out. Like there's a nice little cushioned seal around the rim, which is a nice thought. So I'm dabbing into this with my small stipple brush. This is going to have basically a matte finish on the skin. Like there is no shimmer in the product. It's just a cream. This is a shade that I think a lot of skin tones could wear. I'm building this up in a very subtle little by little way, but it could certainly go there in a more built up fashion. You apply this with a more dense brush and I think you could get even more of a color payoff going here, but I just love the light flush. And it's funny because as I look at my cheeks, it, it, I'm thinking Snow White, like I'm envisioning what her skin looked like in the movie, but I didn't expect that it would be coming necessarily from a coral like this, you know? <clears throat> but yeah, the cream blush totally winning me over. It applies so easily, but yet it didn't have to be like goopy and ultra creamy to get to that place, you know? It's a very solid product, you know, here in the pan, but it was very easy for me to blend this out on the skin. And then it doesn't leave any unusual texture on top of the skin. It's just the pure color. It's the kind of thing I want to keep just like putting on, dabbing on a little more, a little more. But this brush is perfect for it, your small stipple brush. Now all I have left is the big palette, which I don't think is available anymore, at least not on their website. I, I've seen some things posted recently where maybe they've put this out in different locations or different pop-up shops. But I know if you're tuning into this video, you may be interested just to see what this is like regardless. So this is the outer like sleeve here and then you're gonna die. Oh my gosh. Look, look at this. <sighs> absolutely stunning. So incredibly authentic and beautifully done. Every little detail. Like, no offense to Elf, but, you know, there have been some different collections that they've done. I know I've bought them from Walgreens from time to time, like little $5 beauty books that are inspired by Disney, certain Disney movies, but there's kind of a cheapness to the look of those, let's be real. And this is just, it's so dead on is all I can say for what you see in the movie, the vibe of it all. You open up here and you've got this mirror. Now everything in the palette is inspired by the actual shades used in the movie. This first little flap here, underneath it, it's Snow White's face, but the flap that goes on top is literally pointing out every little shade. It says original palette made from the inks used in the film. So I think that's fascinating. Then you turn that page and you've got the story here. I don't mean literally the story of Snow White, but the story of kind of how this palette came to be. On this side, it says to create an authentic Disney Snow White look inspired by the film, please follow this guide using the Snow White collection. So it tells you which shades to put on your eyes, what to do on the face, what lip color to use, etc. And then on this other side, you see Besame's founder, Gabriela Hernandez, and she's, you know, going through the creative process with this. The actual 1937 ink and paint department color chart that went along with the movie. An original, like, sketch of Snow White and then how she appeared in the movie. It says, to celebrate the 80th anniversary of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, we've collaborated with Disney to create this exclusive collection 
collection inspired by the original artwork and color palette of this iconic film. Through extensive and careful research, we have painstakingly hand-selected and matched the colors from the original color palette provided by Disney's ink and paint department to bring you beautiful and authentic recreations of the colors from the classic 1937 film. And then the next page, you're seeing the actual palette here. It says character color callouts, Snow White. And it's pointing out every single shade that's in here and what its purpose was basically in the art of the movie. It says iconic outfit and rags outfit. So you know that outfit she was wearing at the well when the prince came by and the evil queen was kind of spying out the window. They've got all that covered here. And then there's again a nice flap over this protecting it. But these are all of those shades. Everything in here is matte. And it's just kind of interesting because it's not literally like, here's how to get Snow White's makeup. It's just simply the colors that were used to create the Snow White that we know in the movie. And then we can use them in any number of ways. We could use them as eyeshadows. I mean, you could probably use some of these as blushes or whatever you want to do. Now, I've heard that they may be coming out with smaller palettes as well. Like I saw a tweet or something, maybe. I can't remember where I saw it, but somebody was asking about this and they basically said there's some lower cost palettes to come. But as far as shadow goes from Besame, I am liking what I've been experiencing here. Like they do a good job. And I mean, this is a brand that has never put out eyeshadows before, right? I mean, what we know of Besame are mainly the lip products. They do some great loose powders, a few brushes here and there, some pretty blushes as well. But shadows are kind of a new thing. And so I want to um, do a little look for you with this, just something kind of quick and natural. I'm gonna use some Milani eyeshadow primer first. I'm going to begin with this Saddle 106 shade. Um, Texture-wise, trying to think what eyeshadow formula that exists already that these kind of remind me of. They seem to blend on my eyes a lot like Lorac, but maybe a little less in terms of fallout. I'm going to use a little bit of the Saddle 104. Um, just kind of above what I've done here, softening that out. They're just very soft, easy matte shades, I guess is all I can say. They're easy to work with, easy to blend, not going overboard. I'll do a little bit of this pastel tin and use that up under the brow. And then let's use a little bit of this brick down here. Really beautiful red. Gonna get this on the outer part of my eyelid. I'm going to this Charles Dickens holiday themed dinner party tonight, so I'm not wanting to get too super out there with the look. And I am hoping and expecting that this lasts well all throughout the day. And from what I've experienced from this palette, you know, it will. The shades truly are very pigmented. When I use my eyeshadow primer, like I don't have any concerns about them going anywhere. So as you can see, I'm kind of putting that on my lid wedging it up into the crease. There's a nice depth to that color. And then I'm just taking that E25 brush again that I originally used in the crease. And that can help to sort of blend everything around. Then I'm going to go back to this pastel tin. It's kind of a soft beigey peach. And see how much pigment that has? I mean, just a dab of that on the lid. Let's get that mainly on the inner part and then do a little overlapping. And then I think I'll do a little Cocoa 103 and just run some of that. I love this shade. It's so like hard to put your finger on. It's a little mauve, it's a little light brown, and it creates the softest definition on the lower lash line. Again, I'm so sorry if you missed out on this palette. I don't know if by chance they will make more or if you're in a location where you can physically like go to a store and get your hands on it, but they don't have it on their website right now. But like I was saying, I've heard they should be coming out with more palettes, so this will give you a feel for how those shadows work just in general. So there's my very simple matte shadow look. I'm gonna do a little bit of brightener in my lower inner rim with my Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlights. I'll also do some mascara top and bottom, and I think I'll put on some Wispies lashes. I think that'd be really pretty with this look. And then we will talk lip products. So there's the finished eye look. I don't know if you guys could tell, but I could when I was looking up close um, and doing my eyeliner. I had the weirdest like little patch of unblended concealer 
right over here and it was really hard to work with. Like it was set. I went at it with a Q-tip and I eventually got it off there, but it looked really funky. So I'm sorry about that if you saw that. So the lip stuff I chose to get, I went with one of their full size lipsticks and it is the iconic Snow White Red and packaging here again, adorable box. At the outside of the tube, it's so like classic Besame, but the script where it says Snow White, you know, exactly as you know it from the 1937 movie. When you take off the cap, it does say Besame right here, and then you twist up, and it's the iconic shape of Besame's lipsticks, and I would describe this as kind of a soft red, actually. When I saw this on my lips, just looking at it in person, you know, it's not super fire engine, it's kind of a little bit softer. That lip balm, by the way, really got my lips nice and soft in preparation for this, but I'm gonna put this on with a lip brush. It's a cream lipstick. When you apply it straight from the tube, you'll definitely feel that. Like there are certain ones that they've put out that are more matte and a little bit more of a dry texture, and this is definitely um, a very creamy one. But isn't it fun to think, yeah, this is Snow White's red. This is her red lip. So when you apply it with the lip brush, I feel like I get a little bit more sheer application, although this looks very full on and colorful. Just got a little bit more of a matte look and feel, whereas if you put it on straight from the tube, you know, that's fine, but it comes off feeling a bit thicker on the lips. You might even pick up on a little hint of shine coming from it, but when you go little by little with a lip brush, you can really get the matte look. And then of course they advise doing a double blot technique with their lip products, which really does result in amazing staying power. So that would mean you put put it on, blot, put on another layer, blot one more time, and then you've got this gorgeous locked in look, and that really does work. But yeah, this is the iconic Snow White Red. I feel like it's a soft red with a little bit of pink in it, which was kind of unexpected for me, but it's so, so beautiful. I mean, this is a great red. Now, the other lip thing that I got is the Seven Dwarfs Mini Lipstick Set. So, seven lipsticks in here. And yes, they all do have the little um, silhouette, I guess you'd say, of the dwarf actually on the lipsticks themselves. And you see them down here. And then this is the layout of colors. And I think I'm just going to apply these straight from the tube um, just to keep from having to clean off a lip brush every time. We've got Sleepy, Doc, Bashful, Happy, Grumpy, Sneezy, and Dopey. These are all matte except for one. Dopey is like a sheer shimmer. They totally went a different direction with Dopey. And I think maybe that's so you could layer them up if you want to, or give the other shades a little different look. Um, but everything else is like a full colored matte lipstick. And I really do like putting a little EOS lip balm on as a lip primer under these. I think they glide on so nicely that way. If you're dealing with some especially dry lips, that's a nice thing to do. But I love this selection of shades. I think this collection allowed Besame to put out just some really different colors that you don't typically see in their line. I mean, they do a lot of different reds, and I think that's great. But this collection, I'm not sure what specifically inspired each color, but there's like a nude in here. There's a lighter pink. I mean, it's really fun. So I'll just take you through these. Sleepy is this really soft kind of baby pink. Again, I feel like it's Besame's classic matte finish on all of these. Doc, I was so excited for because here's your like neutral kind of nudie lip from Besame, which to my knowledge, I don't think they have anything else quite like this in their line. So I would love to have Doc in a full size, really. Bashful, I think of this shade as like, really blushed cheeks. It's like, take the color of Sleepy, but make it a little bit darker, a little richer shade. And again, a unique color for Besame to put out. Happy is the shade I've chosen to stick with and kind of wear throughout the day. I love the warmth of this color. It's like a little bit of a, a peachy red, like kind of a beautiful, soft, rosy coral. It's actually kind of a unique color. Grumpy has a little less coral in it, more of a classic rosy colored lip. I think that one's a favorite of mine in this lineup as well. Sneezy, I feel like they have a shade in their current line that's just this really dark, rich berry. And Sneezy kind of reminds me of that. It's absolutely stunning. Um, it's a really vampy, rich shade. And then, of course, as I said, Dopey is this just sheer sparkle sort of color. And you could wear it on its own. It feels like it has a hair more smoothness going on. Like, despite having the shimmer, there's no grit. But as you look at the ingredients on the back, all of the other dwarves are formulated a certain way. And then Dopey is its own special 
whole thing. But I really love this collection. Again, I think it allowed Besame to put out some different kinds of colors that you maybe haven't seen the brand work with before. And they're so cute. You've got all the little dwarves on there. I'm a huge fan of lip color minis because it's a great way to sample. And I would call these like a creamy matte formula. They're creamy enough going on, but you've got a pretty, like just full colored matte lip when you're done. And thinking about how vibrant some of these shades are, I do love having them in the matte formula. Talk about sneezy, I feel like I'm about to sneeze here. My favorites of this whole line, gosh, like I love the classic Snow White Red lipstick. I think that's a huge just, you know, if you had just one collector's piece that you wanted to come away with from this whole line, this is a great one. Again, they've got some other full-size lipstick shades available also, which I'm thinking about looking into, but those are on their website, so check that. I adore this Ever After Translucent Powder. I think that's just gorgeous on the skin. The Seven Dwarfs Lip Set, I think, is just a great value. If you're into Besame lipsticks, you want to have this set. The Cream Rouge I think is totally beautiful. It might not be for everyone because I know some people might just love their standard powder blushes, but I think it really is a fabulous shade. The Snow White's Pies, I mean, if we're just talking about cuteness, yes, they're great. They're not an amazingly different mind-blowing lip balm just for that purpose alone. I wouldn't say everybody needs these, but they are cute, and you know if you like, you know, Snow White enough to want to get that whole set. The palette, of course, is mind-bogglingly good. I love all the thought and detail that went into this. I'm sure it was a ton of work to create all these shades and just get them so exact, but this was really beautifully done, and if you are a Snow White fan and you have a chance to get your hands on this, this is really, really impressive. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was informative and helped you out as you're trying to navigate through the Snow White collection. Two thumbs up for Besame on this. I think they did an awesome job, and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!